How you doing folks? Captain Blair Wiggins here from Addictive Fishing Television. I'm going to show you, give you a little walkthrough of the new 2015 SX 2250 by Skeeter. One awesome machine right here. One thing you're going to notice about the 2250 here is that it's got higher sides on it. Great for somebody coming off a big offshore boat, you know, doesn't want to spend all that gas anymore. It's got nice high sides on it for the family. You want to take the family out. Great boat. Awesome dry ride too. One thing I want to show you, this side over here, which is normally a rod locker in other bay boats, this is your fish box. And one of the best features about this box is that it's just like the Ingle cooler that comes in the back of the boat, same design. It'll keep ice in there for a long time. Next compartment I want to show you, this is the anchor locker. A lot of bay boats I've been on gives you a little teeny tiny anchor locker. It'll hold up to like 600 feet of line. That's what I put in my boat. Holds a big giant Danforth anchor in there. It's an awesome feature on this boat. Great big anchor locker. Pop up cleats all the way around the boat. Put them down, they get out of your way. Nice little bow lights on here. Now here comes the, I don't know what I want to call it, the uh, equipment locker. This locker right here holds your fishing rods. When you're out fishing, holds plenty of rods, great place to store them. If you don't want to put rods in there, you're taking the family out on a picnic, works great for a uh, picnic basket as well. Well, now that we're back in the boat here, I'm gonna show you the features that I just find outstanding with this Skeeter boat. The hatches and storage, absolutely amazing. This hatch here, big enough to hold all of your safety equipment, plenty of room in there to hold as many as you need that'll be on this boat. Even more storage right here with this compartment. And you'll find enough storage space in here to hold everything that you need to take out on the water with you. Another great feature of this boat is the front live well. Everybody says, why well, you need two live wells on a boat? Well, you got a great big live well in the back that can hold the majority of the bait. But if you're fishing off the bow of the boat, you don't want to waste time walking all the way back to the back of the boat every time you need to grab a bait. So have a little dip net with you, put about 15, 20 baits in here, keeps them nice and alive and frisky. It's got a great flow to it, drains out, and uh, you have nice fresh baits anytime you want them out there. Now, another thing that Skeeter does that I absolutely love is they make everything accessible. They know that things are gonna go wrong on the boat and you don't have to grow three elbows to get in there to work on stuff. Here's what I'm talking about right here. I can get in there and work on anything I need to, change anything out, add stereos, do anything I want in there. Just a great access panel that most bay boats out there do not have. Doubles is a great seat, smooth dry ride, now that we're back at the driving station, I want to show you a few features up here that I really love about this Skeeter console. It's nice and wide, got plenty of room for all my electronics I want to put up here. The shelf up top, it's got the lip that nothing's going to actually slide out of. You can put your cell phones up here. It's not going to fall out when you hit the throttle on it. It's got stainless steel drink holders, also some stainless steel rod holders here on the side. And if you do notice, this one does have a T-top on it. It's powder coated, beautiful T-top, highly recommend it. It is an option on this Skeeter boat though. Easy access to all of your switches right here on the console. You also have your trim tab settings right here. Nice and easy right next to the throttle. You don't have to reach way up to get your hand away from the throttle to operate your trim tabs. Everything's right there and very accessible. It's got a nice tilt steering wheel. It just helps in the ease and comfortability of driving this boat. And speaking of comfortable, the seat you're going to be sitting on, absolutely one of the most comfortable seats in a bay boat I've ever been in. It's got a nice flip down footrest where you can turn around here. I mean, it's just one comfortable dry riding boat. Absolutely love it. Now let me show you a little bit more about this seat. It's got a little compartment right here underneath the seat. There's plenty of room in here to put all sorts of stuff. I like putting sabiki rigs in here, you know, weights, anything I want really quick access. As you come around to the back of the boat, what you're going to notice is this pad back here. This is just a seat pad. There's 11 rocket launcher rod holders on this boat. You can use two of them up, have a nice comfortable backrest when you're driving. Now, when you get to the back of the boat here, you're gonna notice that everything is nice and flush and level. Great fishing platform back here and storage once again on a Skeeter boat. These two hatches in the back go all the way to the bottom of the boat. They're huge hatches. You can put so much stuff in here, all the storage that you would possibly need in the Skeeter boat. You could leave for a week, a month on this thing if you're packing it. Unbelievable storage. Next thing I wanna show you, what I really like about this boat is the live well. Great 
size live well in this. You can keep as many baits as you need to keep alive in this to fish the whole day. Now I want to show you the access panel. Once again, to get to your pumps and change them, they're going to burn out on you sometimes. Something's going to go wrong. With this access panel right here, you can get back in to your seacocks, to all of your pumps and all the plumbing that you need to get back into right there. Just a great access panel to get back in there and work on it if you need to. And you can have your choice of power that you want on the back of the boat. We chose the 200 Yamaha four stroke on this boat. It's one of the quietest motors out there. You're not gonna spook a bunch of fish. Super reliable motor. Now when you got the family out, great fishing deck, but when you got the family out, it's got a nice seat right here. Very comfortable, dry ride back here. Even though you're in the back of the boat, the Skeeter throws the water off to the side and it doesn't splash back up on you. Another storage compartment right here. My wife likes to put her purse in here when we're driving around. It keeps it nice and dry. That seal right there keeps everything dry in there. Perfect little hiding spot for the purse. And then it turns right back into a great fishing platform. And the next thing I want to show you that comes standard on every Skeeter boat that leaves the factory, it comes with a roto molded Ingle cooler. Well, that covers some of the options on the new 2015 SX 2250. If y'all get down to the Skeeter dealer and take one of these for a ride, I highly recommend it. The boat is going to sell itself. One good feature that comes with this boat is a limited lifetime warranty on anything structurally that goes wrong with this boat, Skeeter's going to fix. It also comes with a three-year component warranty that'll cover all your components from bow to stern. Anything goes wrong, they're going to replace it. So get out to a Skeeter dealer and take a Skeeter for a ride. You're going to love it.